And it's Carlisle United versus Halifax Town. The Blues, having had an enforced uh, layoff due to the Cardiff City match being uh, postponed at the very last minute. So let's hope that uh, Carlisle United are not suffering from ring rust and that they can set about Halifax Town and get three much needed points today because uh, really Carlisle slipping dangerously to the wrong end of the table. So much expected of them this season. Um, but uh, three points today would lighten the load considerably, I'm sure. And uh, people like Tony Hopper and Richard Pro Broadcast there, two youngsters from Carlisle's youth development, hoping to uh, dent this proud Halifax team who uh, came up from the Vauxhall Conference last season, of course, and doing ever so well in their first season in the third division. First ball played through, and that's the kind of efforts on goal that I'm sure Tony Keg would welcome all afternoon. Long punt down the field by the Halifax goalkeeper and uh, a chance for Halifax in the early stage. A little bit of a messy play there. Uh, a little bit of head tennis as well, but it's the number 10 of uh, Halifax tries the shot there. A snapshot with his uh, left foot. And uh, Steve Goodman didn't really cause an awful lot of uh, problems for Tony Cake there. Brings it down nicely, hits it. But uh, Tony always had his body behind that ball and uh, took it well. Free kick to Carlisle flown in there oh and the goalkeeper there making a real hash of uh, trying to get that ball away and uh, he didn't collect it well at all he did bounce nastily in front of him he's got to be admitted but uh, gets hold of it gets his body there then doesn't and then tries again and as he goes in a challenge there from Tony Thorpe I think it is and uh, the goalkeeper lucky to survive uh, his goal intact there so it's uh, Carla United and it's uh, Halifax Town break away there. Oh, and is that a penalty? Is that a penalty to Halifax Town? They certainly think so there. And I think we're a little bit lucky there when Stuart Whitehead, I think he grabbed hold of the back of the man's shirt, a little bit argy-bargy there. But Stuart certainly pulls him down and the man's feet taken from under him there with uh, a most unorthodox challenge. But Carlisle, lady luck on their side for a change. Damon Searle plays the ball up the wing there. It's Steve Finney cutting along. He puts the centre across. Oh, and Stephen steps over the ball. It, uh, it's still a chance for Carlisle uh, trying to pull the situation back. But as this ball's clipped along, it's a perfect chance for Stevens. It would have been more difficult to miss than score, but somehow he contrived to do so. And uh, a shake of the head from Stevens there shows his disappointment. Peter Clark uh, picking the ball up in the second half and Carlisle really have got to make the chances uh, tell in this second half because Halifax Town, oh a chance here for Stevens, only three yards from goal and the goalkeeper does ever so well there and when you remember that this goalkeeper, goalkeeper is number eight, Kevin Hume is taken over in goals from Tim Carter, Halifax didn't have a substitute goalkeeper, Carter injured in the first half and there this inexperienced midfield player in front of our leading goal scorer and Stevens contriving to make the goalkeeper look like a goalkeeper Carlo really have got to do something against a standing goalkeeper like this and uh, make these chances count another ball piled in and again it's Brightwell there, the goalkeeper yeah, he isn't playing like a professional goalkeeper you wouldn't expect him to do so but very bravely gets up to that one and does all that's expected of him and then recovers and uh, he'll be really chuffed with himself if he can keep a, a clean sheet here tonight Carlo really have got to get amongst this uh, Halifax defence uh, it would be a shame if we allowed Halifax to get a point out of this game with an inexperienced, or in fact a non-goalkeeper in the net for the whole of the second half. The ball pushed forward there, but again it's a Halifax Town player who cuts it out. He very kindly gives us it back. It's uh, Steve Finney on the ball here now. Goes down, need a centre here now, Steve. It's a good one to Stevens. Oh, and Stevens toe pokes that one wide of the post. Goalkeeper wouldn't have had much chance if it had been on target. Unfortunately it wasn't rerun here and a nice little centre there right across the front of the goals just asking to be put away but uh, Stevens couldn't do so now it's Halifax Town with a long long throw in coming into the area a lot of head tennis there Carlisle United players trying to get it away Richard Prokas gets a header but he just forced a Halifax player he plays it through long chipping centre the fullback Andy Thackeray running in there and very very unlucky left with an open goal Thackeray unmarked coming in at the back post and uh, contrives to put the ball over the top of the bar and Carlisle relieved to see that happen Tony Keg up there but I don't know if he could have done much about it free kick to Halifax time running out now the ball played in there and it's Stoneham of uh, Halifax gets there before the Carlisle defender I think it was David Brightwell he got in front of from this uh, free kick played in just got his header there gave Tony Keg absolutely no chance at all and Halifax take the lead and do they take the three points as well 89 minutes gone Carlisle nil, 
Halifax Town won and this is a dismal reading for Carlisle they really should have done better than this I won't even repeat that dismal scoreline